infestation. And neighbors say these guys aren't just gross. They're actually causing major damage. So we put our Steve Keeley on the case. And are they around? Oh, you All right, well, there you go. I'll jump in that trash bag. See the trash bag moving? So, they, yes, they're around. And so... Uh, They've been running around all during Little Kathy's weather right there during Dawn's report. So, yes, it's not hard to spot them at night. And Kathy just talked about how it's getting warmer. So this trash left out on the sidewalk in the street is obviously the reason it's drawing the rats. And when it gets warmer, this trash gets stinkier. And these little hefty bags are no match for the sharp teeth of a hungry Philly rat. So that line that you smell a rat, that's just not some old line around here on Watch Street in South Philly, right off Snyder and right behind Broad Street. That's where this trash is from. The business is fronting Broad Street and this is the back of them. The many who park here on Watch Street now know the overpowering, rancid, rotting, rank, horrendous smell of rats that have turned their cars into some rat mobile homes. I could like see like a big like rat like scurrying across. And I didn't, I was, I was shocked because I didn't know if it was a rat. I, I thought it was a cat or a possum. I've seen a couple. Don't love that either. You can hear them like screaming, making rat noises. It's so creepy. Like you gotta turn around. The latest string of car break ins in the city has happened here on Watch Street in South Philadelphia. And these are the culprits rats, big rats. Like the ones we saw this week. What did you discover when you looked under your hood? Well, I popped the hood and then I saw a bunch of garbage and I thought maybe something had melted and gotten hot. And then I saw a rat fall down and then it was just absolutely insane. I've never seen anything like that before. How big was the rat under your hood? Uh, I'm not even lying, a small cat. Everyone we met here on Watch Street told us of their rat run-ins and thousands on rat caused car repair bills and that smell. I got a report from my mechanic saying that I needed to get $2,600 worth of work on it. Uh, a knock sensor needed to be replaced, and he said he could tell it was rodent damage. So I had rats in two cars. Uh, one car was completely damaged um, with rat urine and feces. I had to get an expert to come out and professionally clean it. We. Um, you know, have been in contact with some of the property owners on South Broad Street that face their backs and their trash area faces Watt Street and working with them, the city, Vector, to bait that area and to try to get it under control. Our goal is to make sure that uh, trash is stored properly and that uh, if not stored properly, there will be consequences and fines associated with it. Everybody's talking about how bad the interior of their car smells after the rats have been inside. Yeah. What's that smell like? Uh, it's, you will never unsmell it again. And you can see, unlike what Councilman Squilla said, this is not the way to put trash out. There's no containers that are sealed. These bags are being gnawed through, and we can see the rats running back and forth. Here's another one running right over there just now. See him? He's under the fence. So they are constantly running back and forth, and apparently overnight, it's way worse. And yes, they do make noises, and yes, they squeal, and uh, some of them can't even fit into the holes that the little ones go down. So residents have bought and shared their rodent repellent, a spray that's mostly peppermint and cinnamon spray. Apparently rats don't like those and the repellent spray may be no match though. So for this trash that continues to be left out here on the street and sidewalk and these bags that no rat can't tear through in a couple of seconds, especially as the weather heats up and the trash from the Popeyes and uh, oh. there's another rat right here. Yeah, there he is, you see him? Yeah. So they're, they're all over the place here. So you feel sorry for these people and that's why you don't see there's <laughs> rats down the street. All you have to do is look down the street and the rats are going back and forth and when they go under the cars, when you look under a car safely, the car they're going up into the undercarriage of the car. So they're going into the car compartments and they can fit in there. And then for some reason, that what you see on the, along the curb here is you see a lot of this foam. And that is the insulation behind the dashboard that they're trying to use for nests. So a lot of people told us pictures, showed us pictures of rats nest under their hoods. And you don't mean to laugh, but it's just sad. And until these people learn how to figure out how to put the trash away. And you see these fenced-in compartments? Those are trash cans in there. But these fenced-in compartments are blocking the sidewalk. So those are illegal in itself. And the residents who have their front doors facing this stuff say, that is the problem. Even though there's trash in there, if you look through these fences, those trash cans are not covered either. So there's a whole lot of meals for a whole lot of rats. And that is what the infestation uh, is being caused by, for sure. Because if they had nothing to eat, they wouldn't be hanging around here on Watch Street.
they've made the street their playground, that's for sure, Steve. Uh, and, and I've been itching throughout your entire report. Uh, any issues with the interior of the homes? Are these rats are just staying out and in the street and causing wreaking havoc on the cars along the street? Yeah, they haven't gotten into the homes, but they got into the little side alleys over here to the right on Watch Street and also behind those homes, but they kept them out of their homes, uh, but they haven't been able to keep them out of their cars. But the one solution, and it's sad, parking's at a premium here in South Philly. And when you live on a little street like this and you say, you know what, I don't even want to park on my street. I'll park two blocks over so I don't have rats living in my car. That's extremely sad here. Mm. Oh, they're there. You know, they chew on those wires to keep their teeth from growing too long, so they gnaw on those car wires to, like... Anyway, uh, it makes me want to start a pest control business because I think you can make a killing in this city. Not me, but maybe somebody else. Yeah, killing's a good word. <laughs> yeah. All right. Taking one for the team tonight. Yeah, on, on rat patrol. Did those boots come in handy today, Steve?